here in the Lodge 8 Dutch oven. I've got potatoes, onion, some chicken sausage, some bacon, a little bit of ham on the bottom, potatoes, Italian seasoning. We're gonna get this going over here. Yep. And I'm gonna clear that path a little bit. I'm gonna just grab me five of these guys here. One, two, three, four, and five. Take the Dutch oven over here. Stick it right on top of those coals. And I'm gonna take and line the top of the Dutch oven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let that set. We'll be back in ten minutes. Alright, well my timer went off for ten minutes. Let's see how this guy's looking. Ooh, nice. Let's go ahead and Give it a little mix, shall we? Yeah. I like to give it a little mix just to mix up really the seasoning. We're going to de-ash these coals because ashy coals don't do you very much good. We'll add a little more up on top. The weather's changing, it's getting colder out. So we're gonna need more heat, whoops, with things like this, so. I'm gonna add one there, and I'm just gonna whoop, add one there. There we go. All right, we're coming back into it. Coming back into it. Definitely, definitely. Check these potatoes. I'm gonna have to try it. Mm -hmm. Almost there. this guy out here, shall we? Oh yeah, that looks good. I'm going to uh, drop some eggs in here and let them cook. plan is to do some over medium eggs just on top of the food here. So when I scoop out the skillet, I just grab the eggs. Let's try it. There's one that didn't break. Right. Two that didn't break. That didn't break. And four. That didn't break. Oh, 
closer than I wanted it, but well, we're just gonna add another one because why the heck not, right? There we go. All right, they're not perfect, but good enough for me. I'm gonna grab this guy here and stick it back down on top. We'll check it back in five minutes just to see what's going on. Okay, so let's give this a look. I added a couple more coals up on top and I did rotate the lid. I haven't looked at it yet, but it's always cool to take a look at it together nice i think that's going to be about perfect so we are actually going to get rid of these coals here and go take this in the house and feed the horde a skillet how's that sound i'm gonna grab my brush and brush that off i just got a broom i use an old broom to sweep that off i know they make a a brush specifically for this and i know i gotta pick one up i just haven't yet i've got an old broom that seems to be doing the trick for me for now okay definitely gonna grab it and take it out of here see what these coals look like underneath huh <laughs> Yeah, a little bit left to them. Not much, though. Not much at all. All right, so my next, the next one I do, I'm going to work on uh, pulling the eggs off a little earlier. Uh, I think the eggs got a little more done for our liking, but if you like your, legs all the, your eggs all the way done, this will definitely work. But maybe I won't uh, do them as long because they do continue to cook in the Dutch oven, and that's one thing that you learn. So, but other than that, pretty good. I went ahead and added cheese to the top and just let it rest. See, you're on. You're on.